Hello Teenage, now I just want to bring you a little bit of an encouragement today um, and a little bit of a challenge because this week I've been reading through Romans 12 and I want to read you just a snippet of what I've been reading and this is Romans 12 starting at verse 12 where it says be glad for all God is planning for you be patient in trouble and always be prayerful when God's children are in need be the one to help them out and get into the habit of inviting guests round for dinner, or if they need be, lodgings for the night. Now, as I was reading this, um, I was trying to put it into perspective on what we're going through and the situation we find ourselves in. And I found these verses really spoke to me. Because the first thing it states in verse 12 is be glad for the plans that God has for you. Because let's not forget, there's a plan in play. God has a plan that hasn't changed. So God's plans over your life, God's plans over this world, over our church, they have not changed. So we need to hold tight onto them. Our hope needs to come from the plans that God's got for us. It then goes on to say, be patient, be patient in trouble. Now, this is an area, if you're like me, it may be a little bit tough, especially with two kiddies in the house, but we need to remain patient. We can't just be sort of flapping around and going, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? But we remain hopeful in the plans that God's got for us and we stay patient. And then it says, and pray always, pray always. In this season, we need to be people of prayer. Now, this morning I woke up to the news that up north they've um, increased the restriction um, that people have got because of lockdown and they're going back into um, lockdown. And as I heard this, my heart just got so heavy because I was like, oh, we're going the wrong way. Numbers are rising rather than falling with COVID-19 and it, it can get very daunting. But we need to be people of prayer. We're not up north. We cannot do anything physically to help the numbers up there, to help the people up there. But we can do something more mighty because we can be people of prayer. We can be praying. As we watch the news in this time, what we see on the news should become our prayer requests, should become what we're praying about. So we need to be people that are praying for those up north. We need to be praying for this world as a whole as we try to combat COVID-19, that we pray continuously. We don't give up. We don't lose heart, but we keep praying, knowing that God has got a plan. So we keep praying. And then it says that if anyone needs help, give them that help. You know, invite them round for dinner, give them lodgings if you can. Now in this time, of course, we have got restrictions. There are things that we can't do. As a church, I am desperate for us to meet together, um, even if it's just on a social basis, just so we can see each other's faces. But again, because of what's happening, it doesn't look like this is going to be as possible as quick as I was of, would have liked. But, but we can still meet. I know that Jill's house group had a social this week and it looked absolutely fantastic. Um, and the rest of us, we can be meeting up as well in smaller groups. We can meet still in households. So ring somebody up, say, hey, do you fancy a glass of lemonade in my garden or whatever it may be? But let's be connecting in this time. Let's be picking up the phone and checking in on each other because we are stronger together. So in this season, it's not a time of isolation, but actually we're ringing each other up. Hey. Want a cup of tea? Let's, let's meet outside, Let, let's do something. But restrictions as they are down here at the moment, we can still meet in small gatherings. So let's do it. Let's be people that we are glad for the plans that God has got for us, that we are patient in this time, that we are prayerful and that we are connecting and helping out each other. Church, we serve a mighty God, a God that's got a plan. So let's be people that are praying. Let's pray for those up north. Let's pray protection over this world, over those that we love and cherish, over the strangers that we've not met yet, but we pray for them. We pray believing that God is going to do something miraculous. God has a plan. We hold on to that and we remain patient. We keep praying and we help others out. Church, are you up for the challenge? Because let's go.